about that girl, Steph? Steph. Okay, this is difficult to say. Back when I lived in LA, I was pretty broke, so I spent a month making adult films. Wow, okay. <laughs> How many did you make? 175. <laughs> say what you will about the porn industry, they're hard workers. What about that chick, um, Jackie? And my bathing suit had fallen completely off. <laughs> I know the feeling once. When I was 16, I was driving, and I hit this hitchhiker. Don't know what happened to him. Just kept driving. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. What about Natalie? Natalie. Who's Natalie? Natalie. I had so many fond memories of her. The tea candles on her dresser. The sock monkey collection on her bed. That one Bell and Sebastian song she always listened to. Her smile. Man, I haven't seen her in like three years. Well, why'd you guys break up? I just wasn't looking for a big commitment at the time. Of course, now a big commitment doesn't seem so bad. Maybe I should call her. What do you guys think? You dumped a porn star? <laughs> Friendship over. Friendship over! And her birthday might have been coming up. Uh-huh. Okay, so I didn't want to get a boyfriend-level gift for a girl I was just about to break up with. So you dumped her right before her birthday? No, I didn't dump her right before her birthday. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Natalie, hey, happy birthday. Listen. Never break up with a girl on her birthday! Lily, please, the shirt! I know, it was a mistake. Well, did she cry her eyes out? I don't know. How do you not... Oh, you didn't. Natalie, hey, happy birthday. Listen. You're awesome. You really are. Awesome. I'm just like super busy right now, so maybe we should just call it a day. But you're awesome. On her answering machine oh, and on her Lily, birthday? Oh, who breaks up with somebody on their answering machine on their birthday? Yeah, dude, email. <laughs> Not exactly the point I was trying to make, Marshall. That is a terrible way to break up with someone. Okay, in my client's defense, is there an unterrible way to break up with somebody? No. Personally, I'd rather hear the bad news on an answering machine than face the humiliation in person. It's the least painful way you can do it. Who are you calling? Hi, Marshall, it's Lily. We're not going to have sex for at least a month. But you're awesome. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Suddenly passed away on this, the eve of their 100th birthday. I'm a dirty, dirty girl. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Reporting live, Robin Shubatsky, Metro News 1. <laughs> Joel Adams wants to see you in his office. Before you say anything, I just want to say I really like working here at Metro News One. That's great. So my dog keeps going. <laughs> what? 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 Well, you have dogs, right? What do you What do you think that means? Take him to the vet. Genius. <laughs> That's one I owe you. <laughs> Was that all? Yeah. And nothing about the twin story. Oh, yeah, great job on that one. New York loves you. You're a superstar. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's when Robin realized no one, not even her boss, watched Metro News 1.